for non-commercial private exhibition in homes. Any public performance, other use, or copying is strictly prohibited. Hi, I'm Gary Strigler, second generation custom home builder. I'm an author for Fine Home Building Magazine, the Journal of Light Construction, and I'm on the faculty at the Mark Adams School of Woodworking. I've given presentations at the Woodworking Show and Builder Shows all across the United States. 
But one of the things I'm most proud of is when I'm doing trim carpentry for the houses that I build. Really, that's the thing that makes me most excited is just getting my hands dirty, making sawdust. I just have a passion for woodworking. And one of the things that I do that I think really separates my work from other people's work is this, making curved trim. I've spent about 20 years learning and perfecting well, perfecting is probably not the right word, but learning as much as I can about how to make curved trim. And what I want to do in this video is share with you what has taken me all those years to learn. There are several different ways of making curved trim, but what I want to show you is what works for me. And there may be someone else who has a different way that works for them, but I just want to show you how I do it. And it's a very simple system. It involves a lot of simple tools and one dedicated tool, the Woodmaster Planer Molder, which is the way that I put the profile on all the trim that I make. I feel incredibly blessed to have had the opportunity to do all the things that I do, and I'd be here to tell you that there's nothing really that special about me. I've just been blessed by God with a lot of great opportunities, the chance to work on a lot of interesting projects, and uh, I want to share as much of that with you as I can on this video. Most of the curved trim that I make is casing trim to go around curved windows, doors, or arched openings. And it comes in three different shapes or forms. First of all, just a half a circle, which is commonly called a circle top. The second type is an eyebrow or segment, and that is a part of a much bigger circle. It's going to look literally like an eyebrow. And then the third type would be a elliptical piece which starts out on a tight radius, blends into a greater radius, and then goes back to a tight radius. The elliptical piece and the circle top both have a 90 degree cut where they meet the straight pieces, but the eyebrow is going to have a miter joint where it meets the straight side pieces. Usually it's anywhere from a 15 to a 20 degree angle.